So um, obviously uh, there was a report that, uh, that came out today, that surfaced today. Um, I can just say that uh, we were saddened by that report uh, that came out and completely heartbroken. Um, everyone searching for facts um, and everyone within the organization wants, wants facts, which is why we are actively cooperating um, with an investigation. Um, I think uh, it kind of goes without saying that I cannot comment more on the situation uh, until the police conclude uh, their, their investigation. Um, but what I can say uh, is it's hard to find the words, um, just how difficult the last couple months have been on everybody uh, within this organization, whether you're in that clubhouse um, or whether you work in a, another area. Um, and I talked about Tyler's impact uh, a couple months back and how a lot of people in the organization um, felt connected with him that, that don't dress every day in that locker room. Um, but we miss Tyler every day. Um, that clubhouse misses him every day. We miss him in our lives. Uh, and we pray for him and we pray for his family every day. And we pray for our own healing uh, every day as well. And um, nothing that we learn today changes those feelings, not one thing. Um, but this is like a shot to our core, um, and it, it brings back a lot of pain from that tragic day. Um, and that's all I have. At this point, are you guys just kind of leaving this to the police, or are you guys actively kind of trying to look, you know? We're cooperating with the police, and we are a part of the investigation with the police department. I can't I can't comment further on that just because it is an active investigation um, that that we are a part of. When did you become aware of the essential contents of the report? Were you aware weeks ago, recently? Uh, I again I, I cannot comment on that um, because of the the ongoing nature of the investigation. How disturbing is the allegation to you that somebody in the organization would have connected someone? Um, again. I apologize that I can't answer that, that question um, at, at this point because of the, the nature of the investigation. We can't compromise the jobs that people have to do, and we would be compromising the jobs that people have to do. Hmm? Uh, guys are a little all over the place right now as far as uh, in batting cages and things like that preparing, um, but I'll, I'll speak with them shortly. I'm sorry, I, I completely understand you asking that question, but um, but again, it's an it's an active investigation. Can you say, did that aspect of it surprise you? Um, we, we've had discussions with uh, the investigators. Um, we've told them everything that that we know, um, and we've been cooperating with them in every aspect. You feel in, this, in any way that this sort of, you know, there's been a certain amount of healing happened over the last two months. Does this sort of take you back and to kind of start over? You know, I, when, we were in, when we were in Texas, um, well, one of the things that, that we commented about was just how uh, everybody grieves in their own way. Everybody was at different stages um, probably today, August 30th. Um, everybody's at different stages, uh, and so everybody's going to have to process this uh, at their own at their own rate, and you know, in their own way again. So um, I think everybody is faced with it. I can tell you that, um, but I can't I can't speak to where everybody individually was in their healing process and how this report today will affect them. Um, but it it will none. It will no doubt affect them. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app.
And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.